In the world of ingredients, garlic can be a real bully, especially in recipes where it takes center stage, like garlic bread. So I'm here with Keith, who's going to show us how to harness the power of garlic. You're right, garlic can be a bully, Bridget, but I'm here today to show you how to tame that aggressive flavor and make a really good garlic bread. All right. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make garlic butter. We're gonna start with a microplane in our garlic, and we're gonna get a really, really fine paste that's gonna cook out really well and won't leave little bits behind. We're gonna need a tablespoon of garlic. That's gonna take four or five cloves to get there. You can see I have a really nice fine paste here. When you rupture the cell walls of garlic, you build a compound called allicin, and that's garlic flavor. That's the bully in garlic. So what we wanna do is we wanna build that allicin up, but then we wanna stop it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook it. The quickest way to do that is just to put it in some melted butter. I have four tablespoons of unsalted melted butter here. And we're just gonna put this in the microwave for a minute. We'll get it up above 150, and it will stop the production of allicin and stop the garlic flavor from building. So a minute in the microwave, I'm gonna stir it halfway through, and it should be bubbling gently around the edges when we're done. Okay, Bridget, so we've microwaved this garlic for a minute. We've killed allicin. This will provide us most of our garlic flavor on our garlic bread, but we really wanted more complex garlic flavor. So we're gonna add more garlic flavor to this garlic bread using garlic powder. Garlic powder. I know. In garlic our powder. garlic bread. The dehydration process creates those long roasted sweet flavors. But with garlic powder, we found you have to add a little bit of water. This is a teaspoon of water and a teaspoon of garlic powder. It's like blooming spices. You wake up that allicin, you kind of pick up those slow roasted garlic notes. Now, garlic powder's been a little bit of a controversial ingredient here in the test kitchen. When to use it and when not to use it is always the question. But here's something for shopping for garlic powder. Garlic powder and granulated garlic at the supermarket are basically the same thing. They're dehydrated garlic. And the difference is in the texture. Garlic powder tends to be more, well, powder-like, and granulated garlic has a coarser texture. But we found that you can sub one for one in just about any recipe. So we have our garlic slurry here. Now we just need to finish up our garlic butter. In testing, there are two kind of avenues for garlic bread that, that recipes went through. They either used melted butter or softened butter. But we had problems with both of those. We wanted something in between. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take more softened butter. This is another four tablespoons of softened butter. And we're gonna add our hot melted butter here with the garlic. I'm gonna add an eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. A little heat to the background, which is always oh, nice. Yes. And a half teaspoon of salt. And that's just gonna bring out those garlic flavors. We're gonna stir this together and we're gonna have the perfect consistency of this paste. Kinda looks like garlic baby food. Yes, it does. I was thinking garlic frosting. That too. <laughs> so this is gonna be the perfect consistency to spread on our bread. Okay, Bridget, we have our garlic butter here. Now we're gonna focus on the bread. And here I have a supermarket Italian loaf, which is about 12 inches long. That's gonna give us the perfect consistency for our garlic bread. We're just gonna half this horizontally, pretty simple. You would think that you would want an artisanal loaf with a crust and an open crumb, but it really didn't work for garlic bread. And you can see this really nice plush interior, no big holes, it's gonna really hold on to that garlic butter, it's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna spoon some of this down the center of these loaves. And I find it easier just to kind of spoon a, a channel right down the middle, and then you can kind of go back with a spatula, spread it out a little bit evenly. A lot of recipes we found use a 350 degree oven, which is fairly low, but we found that it would dry the bread out. We wanna retain some of that moisture in the bread. So we're gonna use a fairly high oven, 450 degrees, for three to four minutes. Please tell me that's not done, because that is pale. It, it's very <laughs> pale, I admit. If you just toast it all the way, you don't get a very good crust. We wanna develop a significant crust much like you would with a grilled cheese sandwich. So you have a really thick crust and kind of a moist, tender interior. Mm. So the best way we found to do that was to take this garlic bread and flip it over on our sheet tray. Now we're gonna take a second sheet tray. We're just gonna push down on this really gently. And we're gonna go back in the oven for five to 10 minutes with this rim baking sheet on top to help provide weight and have a good surface contact on the bottom. Such a good idea. Okay, Bridget, it's been about eight minutes and our garlic bread is ready. It smells great, doesn't it's it? It's gone. No, <laughs> I can smell it, but I can't see it. So here's the big reveal, Bridget. Oh, oh beautiful, huh? 
Hello. Oh, look at this. Okay, it's perfectly even color from very edge to edge. It's gonna be perfect. And that golden brown crust should be audible. Oh, and it is. Look at this, this everything is perfect here. You've got that layer of garlic right at the top there, but the interior is still nice and soft. Now I have to say, every single part of this bread is about hitting it just right. So you, you had that fresh garlic, you brought it up and then tamed it back down. A little bit of garlic powder, that was perfect because it really does add that almost roasted flavor to this. And then I love that the texture is compact, but it's not too fluffy and it's not too dense. No more bullies. No more bullies, I love it. Well, we tamed the garlic bully and built a layered and lovable garlic flavor. Start by microwaving grated fresh garlic with butter, then combine it with garlic powder, cayenne, and more butter, unmelted this time, to make a smooth paste. Spread that aromatic paste on the cut sides of an Italian loaf, then bake it cut side up. Then flip the bread cut side down and press it with a baking sheet to compact the fluffy interior and ensure a golden brown crisp crust. So there you have it, from our test kitchen to your kitchen, really, really good garlic bread. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.